Hey everyone, jumping on and a little bit of an update. Like I said, I was going to be doing more of these updates more regularly, weekly. We'll see how it goes, but just about life, what's been going on, everything, I guess. So as you can see, we started decorating the house. So I'll take you on a little tour here. Did the tree. I don't know if you all think it's too early to start decorating because it's not December yet, but... It's pretty much close enough after the holidays or after Halloween here in Canada. We're kind of like, why not? Versus I know the Americans have their Thanksgiving. But here we go. Check out the tree. It's still standing. Nellie hasn't taken it down yet. <laughs> to be continued. Um, but yeah, we got some of the little stockings hung up. I actually made that stocking up there with the help of my mom. A couple years ago, we sewed it, we put on all the little decals. I know, right? So thoughtful. <laughs> but a couple little more knickknacks around. Christmas lights out front that I have put up. We've got the white lights out front there. Um, I'll have to show <laughs> when it's nighttime. They're not plugged in yet. But it's always fun to start decorating and put on Christmas movies in the background and listen to music. So that's kind of been the vibe lately since coming back from Florida um, after coming back home to snow. So yeah, while we were gone for the five days in Vero Beach, it snowed for the first time here in Kingston where we live. So that was kind of nice to be gone for that, but then we were welcomed home with it. Um, so yeah, we went down to Vero Beach for five days with my parents and my partner's parents. So my partner's parents had rented a house there in Vero Beach and for the whole month of November actually. And my parents were in Orlando already visiting some of my family that was there vacationing. So then made a little jaunt, picked Leah and I up from the airport in Orlando by my parents. And then we all drove to the house in Vero Beach to hang out with Leah's parents. So her mom, Kim was there, two little dogs, Sasso and Sammy. And then Glenn, her stepdad had to actually leave the next day. So we got to spend that full day with him uh, that night, but then he had to go back to Toronto for work purposes. So it was nice to get to hang out with him, made a really nice dinner, went to the beach for the first time and jumped in the waves and had a ball. That's like my favorite thing to do. Wish I had a boogie board. Um, but since the hurricane, Hurricane Nicole that went through Florida, I know it was category one or something like that, but you could see a lot of the debris that had washed up on the beach on the Atlantic side. Um, not in the Gulf on Vero Beach. So getting a lot more of those waves, maybe a bit more wind, um, but yeah, a lot of debris, a lot of branches, a lot of pieces of people's docks, a lot of hats and clothing items and uh, just lots of stuff on the beach, but they did a really nice job cleaning it up while we were there. Like every day they would come down, get rid of more and they cleaned it up quite quick. But you know, I loved having the waves there we went to the beach every single day, swam in there every single day. The water was perfect. It was like 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're just frolicking around in there and having the best time. So loved that. And on that note, my first time swimming without any top, having the sun on my skin felt so good for the very first time, just, you know, taking off my shirt and it being okay like it was just like whoa feeling the wind against my skin it was just so many crazy feelings of euphoria that i had been waiting for for so long i had dreamed of that moment for so many years of my life so for it to actually happen was awesome and to be there with my family and my partner it just made it that much better to share those milestones, those moments with them and them being so supportive of that too. So yeah, I obviously couldn't get enough walking up and down the beach, um, shirtless, whatever. I would bring a tank top and a shirt though to cover up if I felt like I was getting too much sun, especially because hasn't seen the light of day for my entire life, these tan lines. 
So permanently wearing a white sports bra until further notice. <laughs> Hopefully I can get rid of that soon. So yeah, um, just getting used to that was incredible. And yeah, I brought sun scar cream with me. So it had SPF in it. So uh, I would just put it on my nips. I put it on my drain sites regularly. It was 30 SPF. I just got it from a Walgreens. You should be able to get it from a Walmart or um, a Shoppers or a CVS or Amazon online. But definitely a good idea to make sure you're taking care of your scars if you're getting in that sun um, because they will darken. So if that's something you're concerned about, keep them covered or keep that sunscreen on. It's your best bet. Um, and yeah, so we went out for dinners, ate a ton of seafood. I checked out some local gyms. I got to go in all of them for free, which was amazing. <laughs> My dad and I literally just looked up one that was close by. Somebody held the door for us. We walked right in, did our thing. Eventually we um, had to sign a waiver or whatever because the worker eventually came around. They weren't at the desk when we arrived. So we eventually signed the waiver, but we got to try it for free. That was sweet. Um, and then I went to another one the following day just to mix it up, check out the area. This gym was massive. It was called the Barrel Fitness and had so many areas like TRX area, turf area, weight area, um, CrossFit area, tennis area, pickleball area, swimming, volleyball. Like it was just all the amenities you could basically ever imagine. So I had time exploring that. I got to go there for free, which is sweet. And then um, the next day we, uh, Leah's mom and I actually went to this like outdoor fitness center. My parents came as well, but they walked the whole thing. So you could run, walk, do whatever you wanted, but they had all these fitness stations. So some were stretching, some were workout, some had one, some had two. You ran the mile, so 2.2 kilometers, or, uh, is that conversion right? Get back to you on that. Uh, but yeah, ran to each station, did the pull-ups, push-ups, neck stretches, whatever, leg stretches, and carried on. It was a great sweat, great workout. It was pretty shaded, so that was nice. But yeah, we had a great time doing that together, and my parents just walked around it as we ran and exercised. So that was cool, getting to do these activities together and have my parents spend time with Leah's to bond even more. They've met before, um, and they've spent few days together up in Collingwood during the winter time last winter the winter before so they've met each other a fair amount of times but this is the most time we've all spent together um, or that they've spent together as well so that was really cool but other than that everything was pretty smooth sailing I had no issues with any change rooms or anything or um, traveling with security with the airports no problem, uh, which is always a uh, time of concern for sure, just because my name on my passport and everything is still my dead name. <laughs> so yeah, it was a really great trip. We had a awesome time and got some sun and then came home and now we get to embrace the holidays and feel the Christmas vibes. So. Um, in terms of other stuff that's going on, I am coming up to a year on T, which will be December 17th time area around then will be a year on T. So that's exciting. Uh, for updates on that, I am feeling definitely more horny. <laughs> that's for sure. Hungry, hot, horny. Those are my three main descriptors right now for how T is going. I'm still on the same dose that I was, still taking 0.4 milliliters bi-weekly via IM injection. I do it myself. And yeah, so I do have another appointment with an endocrinologist in I think March or something like that. So my dose may adjust then, but for now, I'm very content with how things are going. And I'm slowly, ah, can't see it that well. <laughs> that just shows how small it is. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, the upper lip. So I've only shaved, I think, once, and some other times I'll just buzz it with a um, little buzzer. So it's coming back quick. Definitely the upper. I have a few hairs below, but slowly but surely, it's coming. <laughs> it's kind of fun checking in on it every day. And some bottom growth is happening too. Yeah, uh, I'm all for it. Honestly, it's kind of fun checking in, seeing where it's at. Definitely makes it more sensitive too. So all that comes in with the horniness. <laughs> uh, and then with T or top surgery, I just passed two months post-op. So that's super exciting. I'm loving how it's looking, how it's feeling. Still have my stringer on because I love wearing it for the first time. Ah, best. Just so proud to show my skin more and just show all of these parts of my body um, feeling way more euphoric. And it is incredible how much of a weight lifted I've felt off of literally <laughs> myself and my mind since having top surgery. I am just honestly incredibly happy with everything in life and how it's going. No complaints. But yeah, I still have some numbness, mainly right around the areola complex, but in the middle, I've got really great feeling all around, up top. So I'm still doing my scar massage. I tried to do it daily, at least once, just trying to break up that scar tissue and bring more blood flow and bring more sensation back to my chest. In terms of range of motion, I am pretty good. Like I can do overhead. I feel that a little bit on my incisions, um, but it's not painful. It just feels like it's a little bit of pulling. So I'm not trying to do anything too crazy exercise wise that's over my head or behind my head. So keeping everything, all the limbs close to the body. Uh, so yeah, that's my update for now. Make sure you check out Gymshark. They've got their Black Friday sale going on. Use my link. That's a direct way that you can support me and it is no cost or anything to you. It's just a way to show uh, that you appreciate my content. So thanks so much for stopping in and see you next time. I'm going to do a video that's going to just be post-top surgery friendly exercises. Um, so stay tuned for that.